Scorpio, what is going on? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again with the remix, bitch. You feel me? All right. <laughs> it's like, no, let me stop. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am here to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2019. Thank you guys for being so patient. I have missed you. Trust in this. And trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I tried to do this reading yesterday, but my uh, camera was just like, bitch, you guessed. <laughs> bitch you guessed it okay and they was not really trying to do with me yesterday so um i am going to say one thing i don't really know what's going to come out today on the table for us scorpios but i know yesterday from what i can remember it's somebody dealing with some loneliness and they're um fighting and, and battling with some temptation here and i'm going to let you know like don't feed into temptation honey that's not you don't want to go back down that road, Scorpio. So, um, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my page. Thank you so much for the love. And I'm giving it right back to you. Thank you so much indeed. All right. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking that About tab. There's a hyperlink down there that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link and, you know, I will be linking you very very soon all right so um if this video resonates at any time and if you would like to you know send a love donation you can always feel free to do so my paypal information is in the description all right so let's get into the energies for the month of april scorpio Father God, thank you so much for waking us up on this morning. The sun is shining bright, Father. If I love how it just feels so warm as it's caressing my skin, Father God. Thank you so much for elevating us, for elevating us, bringing us to a higher point of understanding, Father God. Thank you so much for illuminating certain things that we need to change and certain things that we need to leave behind. Thank you so much for the spring cleaning. You know, sometimes we can be some lazy MFers, Father. We can be lazy as hell, Father. But, you know, for some reason, we just like, uh-uh, like, I'm starting early. I'm already busting this out. I'm Because I need to clean my space so I can bring in newness. I can bring in wealth. So I can bring in good health, success, abundance, happiness, true love. Just, you know, everything that it just bring me peace and harmony into my life. So, Father God, please touch and reach down to my fellow Scorpios, me included, and just give us all guidance. Give us love. Please allow us to walk side by side with you in this journey, Father God. Thank you so much for the transition. As you know, you know, we ain't scared to change, Father God. We don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But we're not scared to have to burn some stuff down and rebuild the dang village, okay? You know how Scorpios are because it's like, look, if we got to destroy you, let's get it done. You know, let's get her done. So, <laughs> Father, let's get her done because we got big plans in 19. And I've been saying it and I'm going to say it. I feel like autumn... Is when everything going to fall into place. Fall is when everything is going to fall into place. Where you're going to start falling in love again. Just everything. So just Father, please give us guidance to lead our footsteps to that right direction. So that we can start falling in the right direction once again. So Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio. For April. I wanted to say, I, I just said in my head October. For October. Something about October. I just heard October. Oh, shit, that's my good. That's my season, bitch. Hold up. <laughs> I'm reloading. What you trying to say about the happen in October? Father? Father. Come on now. Father. Come on. Come on. Give me some guidance. Come on now. You making me happy. Hold on. What's going on? What's happening? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Come on, Father. Is my product line going to pop off? Come on, Father. Give me some guidance. Come on. Yes. Come on. What are we talking Contentment. They go that loneliness. What is it saying? Ambition and money. Come on, Father. <laughs> I'm in the money, bitch. I'm in the money. Pop pussy. Shake it, titties. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Come on, Father. Ooh, you done made me excited. But like I said, we feeling lonely and something. But you know what? What I've been getting, because I did a personal reading for myself yesterday. And what God told me, and I'm just telling y'all my personal tea, because it might resonate with y'all, because y'all are Scorpios as well. 
what God is basically trying to tell me right now is like not that I'm teaching you how to be alone because me personally I'm comfortable in the skin that I am I honestly feel like I thrive more when I'm by myself I could be more creative I could open up I could just I have more space to just be me you know what I'm saying and I think that that's what God is trying to do I, I just I feel like in my life particularly right now God has a path that he has me working on walk I'm um, walking on and it's like I know that it feels lonely you know what I'm saying it's a lonely road walking to success because at the end of the day this ambition that you got, you can't expect everybody to have the same ambition towards the goals and the things that you want. Like, everybody don't have that same ambition as you. You got to be content. This is contentment. You have to be content and just it being your... You have to be content with this loneliness. Because I feel like, honestly, Scorpio, once we are content with being alone and... Just doing this shit by ourselves. Like I, and, and, and you know how our heart is. We love so much and we want to take people with us. But I feel like this is a journey that is best alone. This is not. And, and, and God is trying to teach you to bring in the happiness to the, the fulfillment. And, and for me personally, what I've learned. What I've learned in 2019 me being alone, like I said, it is allowing me to focus on myself and my personal goals. Like I take pictures of things that I want to achieve and I tape it up on this wall. And let me tell you something. Every single thing, every single thing that I've wanted to achieve that I've written in my manifestation book, which is right up under these cards here. Every single thing, even all of these cards, all of this, like y'all help me with all of this. Like I manifested all of this, just the fact that y'all even watch my channel and that y'all support me the way that y'all do. That brings me more fulfillment than any man could have ever fucking bought me. And I felt like I was putting too much stock in wanting someone to bring me this happiness and fulfillment and I and God is trying to show me like no one can make you feel as happy no one could give you that you know feeling of love and enjoyment and peace and everything that like once you once you start achieving that and you start bringing it to yourself by yourself and you learn how to be comfortable with it just being you and you really learn who you are being true to you when you come into these new situations and stuff like that. No one can stop your ambition. No one can stop your ambition. And I feel like Scorpios, they've been really dealing with a lot of stresses and anxiety, you know, surrounding a, a financial situation. But guess what? Your ambition is leading you directly to the money. You see them bees? Honey, it's pollinating. Whatever the heck you've been doing... The universe has been pollinating that. You don't understand what I'm saying, honey? Them flowers is growing. It is springtime. That shit is about to spring forth and hit you in the head. Boom. Just like that. Okay? That success, this ambition, all of this shit that you were able to accomplish because you were the fuck alone. It's about to boom. Hit you in your fucking head. You understand? What you have to do is pull yourself out of this feeling alone, feeling like... Not someone owe you something. Like, nah, I do kind of, I got to say that. I feel like someone feels like, well, how come them, how come they are in a relationship? How come did, you know what I'm saying? But I'm doing all of this and you know what I'm saying? How come, how come, and I almost want to say like the Nip Nipsey Hussle situation. How come the good always die young? Like a lot of stuff has been going on in the universe right now, Scorpio. And y'all just been looking at things and it's just like, why am I the one that's alone? You understand what I'm saying? Why do I have to be the one that got to be content with being alone? Shit, this bum ass bitch, she a fucking whore. Shit, she fucking two or three people. And she, I wish I could have two or three people. Why the fuck am I alone? And I, I feel like, and I get you, I get you, I get you. But you would have never been able to accomplish the things that you have been accomplishing. And you will accomplish. Because I feel like even just hearing that, a lot of y'all score. And I ain't even put out none of the other motherfucking decks. You understand what I'm saying? But I feel like y'all needed to hear this. This is some shit. The blessings that God got for you. 
You cannot have other people around you right now because they will take you, they will take it from you, or they will block you from it because you will lose track and sight of focus because you know how dedicated we are when we get into something. We are very ambitious. May I offer all my deepest longings to love itself. And invite a, di a divine plan beyond the mind's imagination. Please use me for a higher good. God is truly using you for a higher good right now. Your ambition towards change and opening up a freer and just more cleaner vibration in your life. Like I say, y'all are doing spring cleaning right now. Like it's just, it's, it's like your ambition is literally attracting this new success and this money to you you understand what i'm saying i feel like right now you don't really have it you like what money like i feel like y'all got y'all tax money or some shit like that but it's just not that's not the money you talking about <laughs> you know what i'm saying i ain't talking about no tax money money i'm talking about i just want sweet success i just want sweet victory i just want to be okay i want to just have a, i want to be so good that when my tax money, when I get my tax return, I don't even look at that shit because, you know, I, just being someone that's just not pressed to file that tax return. You know how motherfuckers be pressed when tax season come because you don't fucked up some shit at Christmas and it's like you really, really need your tax money to get ahead on some shit. Like Scorpio want to just be like the fuck okay where... They ain't never worrying about how much money they spending at Christmas and trying to catch up on no bills. They ain't never worrying about trying to hurry up and foul because they need some tax money to catch up on some shit. Like, no, that's what the fuck, that's what this ambition is going to. Like, Scorpio being fucking good. All my divine, well, I'm saying divine. It says all my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and it's the source for all. I need it clean to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through the offerings all to the divine. Okay? Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So when you honestly are content with the fact that that's what that's what the doctor ordered. You need to be alone right now. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to have this drive and this ambition to get to get this life and to get this 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 order <laughs> that you want. Like that's what you want. And it's like if you if you allow somebody else in your life right now, you will easily, very easily get distracted. You know how we can be when we fall in love. Contentment. You can learn to rest. In what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember. I am right here resting in God. Be content in what you already have. And what you already are. You are already in the right place. But you have to look at it differently. You have to look at it differently. This is not loneliness. <laughs> this is divine order my dear. When you stop fearing aloneness. You stop settling for less than you deserve. Listen to me, Scorpio. When you cloud your mind and keep thinking and worrying, worrying, worrying about I just don't want to be alone or whatever. Anything that presents itself to you, you're entertain it because you just rather not be alone. Don't be that bitch. That's a dumb bitch. You understand what I'm saying? I'd rather be by myself than just settle with anything. And that's what sets us apart from these other motherfuckers, Scorpio. It's either you in or you out. There ain't no middle ground with us, Okay. How Wendy Williams say, ain't no shaking, ain't no waffling, ain't no middle ground with us, ain't no gray motherfucker earlier, bitch, you in or you the fuck out, bitch, after we friends or you by enemy, bitch, ain't no motherfucker fake shit over here. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So don't let that aloneness get in your head where you're willing to accept something that you know is less than you deserve. May I embrace and in love and fall in love with my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come to me. When you embrace and love being alone, when you see how much you can create, when you see how your ambition, the results that you being alone, how you can focus and, and, and be content in this space and your ambition and, and the results of it, that's when you're going to attract people that's on that wavelength with you. You don't need to attract and be right. Listen, it's about quality, not quantity, baby. Or just having somebody. That ain't what the fuck is about. It ain't never been the fuck about that. It ain't never been about that. 
So let's get some general energy here. I can tell right now this is going to be a long read. And I'm going to try to like move it on through here as quick as I can. But I ain't about to rush no. I ain't about to rush no word now. I ain't about to rush no word, honey. God, let it come to me as it need to come. And dear Lord, allow me to take my time to be able to clearly relay your message, Father God. Thank you so much for your abundant blessing. Thank you so much for this powerful message because I know I needed it. And I know there's a lot of other Scorpios out there that need it too. And I just had a wonderful um, interview. Y'all can check that out on my page with Miss um, Jess Signs. Um, Y'all check her out on YouTube. She's one of DMV's own as well. You know, listen. We all been going through something collectively. Hey, Scorpios. Listen. <laughs> you guys are moving forward. Your world has opened up to vast new opportunities, baby. Pack up your truck. Put everything of value in it. And let's get ready to rock and roll, honey. This is that nine of coins in reverse. So I basically take this as like. You're just not seeing the results of that ambition yet. But I'm going to tell you this. Like I said, someone. It, 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 uh, I had it in my brain like someone felt like the world or somebody owes them something. You know what I'm saying? Like. The world owes you something. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, literally, the world owes you, you know. <laughs> and I feel like once you kind of change your mind about that, change your mind around the lack. And I want to say, for some Scorpios, I want to say, your, your world is moving. They go to death card. There you go, baby. The tower. You can't, okay. You can't avoid change and you have to keep moving through this transformation. Like I said, your world is turning. Your world is turning. Chapters are being closed. New doors are being opened. And I feel like right now with this nine of earth energy um, in reverse, I feel like you guys are feeling lonely and you're not able to be content right now because you don't see the money coming in the way that you want to. You almost feel like a victim to your circumstances right now because something happened in your life that you tried to avoid it, but you really couldn't avoid it. And it was something, you know, sudden. I feel like it was something very, very abrupt that happened. You know, um, you seen it coming, but you still couldn't predict how it all came down you know what i'm saying but i do see that you're going through this transformation and like i want to say like you are starting to learn yourself all over again like i don't even think that this new person that you are you've never met this person before you've never met this person before so it's just like i want to say scorpio is like studying the roots of who this new Scorpio is right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, only thing that's getting in the way, I feel like, is that y'all feel lonely. And y'all are just worried about y'all money. And that's why y'all are so driven and ambitious right now. But trust me, there is big movement in your life, honey. Listen, your world is right here. And the stuff that is going on in the background, in the in the galaxies behind you, honey. Oh, it's being moved in your favor. So, change your mindset of just worrying about the fact about I'm lonely. I'm by myself. Because, you know, some of the Nine of Pentacles, that's also someone that is single. You know? So, I feel like right now, like, Scorpio, y'all might be regrettably single and regrettably broke. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you just like, what in thine fuck is going on right now? Like, I knew this was coming, but come on now, bitch. Come on. But at the end of the day, this was a beautiful tower situation. This tower situation ain't one that looks like complete death and destruction and mayhem and dismay. I mean, this looks, um... This tower look really nice here, baby. Okay? So this tower was a blessing that happened to you, boo. Uh, listen. It was a blessing that happened to you. You couldn't avoid this because this happened for your betterment. 
okay because you needed to shake a few motherfuckers that ain't need to be in that goddamn beautiful ass house that foundation that you build honey the motherfuckers need to shake did, did, did they all get out of there bitch did they all get the fuck out did them peasants get out of there bitch okay that's why God created that shake up, bitch. Because you needed to be alone in your motherfucking house and be successful in your house by yourself. Okay? Because when these, listen, Scorpio, once you change your motherfucking mind about the situation, blessings and, listen, ultimate fulfillment is coming in. And it's going to come so sudden, as sudden as this shit shaked up and shook the fuck out of your life is as fast as this new blessing it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks next thing you know you're going to be towering in money and in success and in riches and in luxury all of that ambition and hard work that you put out in the universe honey it's going to come down on you like a ton of fucking bricks and guess who's going to be there to receive it you by your motherfucking self and your nice ass goddamn castle and that foundation that you created by yourself because them motherfuckers was not worthy to be the fuck around you bitch you get me do you get me do you smell me oh okay oh, okay so stop looking at this shit like that please please it's just like God had to tell me the other day, baby, you could not avoid this because I'm saying you needed to be alone because I got I got a job for you. I got something for you to do. You got to transform, honey. You got to transform ashes to ashes, dust to dust to that old person that you were because that old person, that old person allowed and wasn't spiritually wasn't on a spiritual level where just intuitively they were able to do things on their own without coming to God. And God is making you stronger where it's like, baby, you one of my soldiers. I need you to be out here helping me getting people together. You know what I'm saying? I need you to have your feet on the ground for me. You understand what I'm saying? So I need to shake, shake, shake things up and break things down. And we about to metamorph into this newness okay be content understand why you gotta be alone understand where this driving this ambition is coming from because at the end of the day you will be successful spiritually and physically do you understand what i'm saying and when it comes when this hits you like a ton of bricks it ain't meant for nobody to be the fuck around you it ain't meant for these people to be around you because they'll take advantage of you because you know our heart, Scorpio. Y'all know how kind of giving it. We'll give it all away. Because in our mind, we'll tell these, we will tell ourselves that these people need it and we need to help them. And then no, that's why God, you seen how I shook that card like I was shaking bitches out of that goddamn tile. Like I turned the tower upside down and was shaking peasants out that much. That's exactly what God did. So I feel like Scorpio. You came through like a fucking hurricane. And everybody be talking about Scorpio, you crazy, you crazy. No, we not fucking crazy. There's just no middle ground with us. We don't do that fake shit. We rather be the fuck alone. Like, yes, at the end of the day, it is lonely sometimes. Find something to get your ambition. We are too fucking creative. We got too many motherfucking skills and things that we're good at. Focus on that and I swear on my life, honey. When things start Everything that you was putting your mind to manifesting, once that shit start happening, you gonna break, you gonna drop to your knees and fucking cry, young. Cause you gonna be like, God, I didn't see this coming. Didn't I fucking tell you you're not gonna see this coming? You're not gonna see these blessings coming. Focus on you. Focus on you. So when all this money come in, you ain't gotta worry about. Oh, well, shit. My boyfriend, he needs some, you know, his kids need this and he broke and this, this and that. Well, come on now. That's a lie. That's, 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 come on. Okay. All right. And there go that listen card. Oh, God keeps trying to tell me to listen to. God is trying to say that, you know, you're not listening right now. You know, yeah, we just being hard-headed. He's with you right now. He just wants you to open up your heart and simply love and embrace this. And embrace this. The number six. Love, harmony, peace, relationships. You know? 
nurturing like God is trying to nurture you right now and I feel like God is trying to have a closer relationship with you right now and you see this book like God is trying to teach you and he's really trying to embrace you with love and just simply love you and show you that that's why God has been reaching out to you right now because he's been trying to show you the steps that need to be taken right now you hear me listen come on because <laughs> you've been seeking him you have been seeking You've been seeking answers. I feel like a lot of Scorpios, y'all been online. Like, y'all can't wait until, like, really get warm outside so you could kind of, like, sink your feet in the grass and be in nature. I feel like y'all are really seeking a higher purpose. And that's why God is, it, it, listen, God got a fucking, oh, I'm getting chills, y'all. God has a bigger plan for you. Okay? That's why he's been reaching out to you to show you these steps that he wants you to take, my love. He wants you to seek this higher, ooh, this higher divine energy, this high less in your throat chakra. I feel like right now it's not the time for you to speak out right now. It's, it's not the time for you. Right now it's not the time for you to be so vocal. You know what I'm saying? It's not time for you to be vocal. I feel like right now it's time for you to seek the knowledge. Seek the understanding. Seek the truth before you speak out. You see? God wants you to stop running your mouth so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, chill out. Stop. to And, and don't talk about what you're going to do. Don't talk about nothing. Just do it. You understand what I'm saying? Seek and be quiet. You understand what I'm saying? Balance that heart chakra. That heart chakra. You know? I feel like you're seeking that inner love, that inner peace, that inner well-being, that emotional calm. I feel like right now it's not the time to talk, but listen and seek the guidance. That it is that you're looking for. You understand? And you've been seeking this and God has been reaching out. And God is helping you. But you can't listen if you're talking. But God, I don't feel like this. And this person did this to me. And God, I feel so lonely today. Oh, I'm so lonely. God is like, girl, if you don't shut the fuck up. Or boy, if you don't shut up. Don't you think that I know that? You think I don't see all of this stuff? That's why I'm reaching out to you. Stop talking. Just listen. You got to let God take the lead. Let God take the lead. Or whoever your higher power is. Whoever you connect with spiritually. It is time to let God take the lead. And have some clear understanding as to why he wants you to do the things that he wants you to do right now. Alright. This is that crown chakra. That understanding. Alright. You need to let God take the lead and have understanding as to why he wants you to do this. He's trying to help you with healing the personal sadnesses, grief, and losses. Do you understand? Let God take the lead on this. Shut the fuck up. Let's get this heart balance. Okay. So you can get over these personal losses and grief and have some healing. All right. We got to deal with this sadness. But to deal with this sadness, you have to deal and be to yourself. Sadness and isolation. I know that you feel lonely. Okay. Let God take the lead on this. God know what the fuck he doing. And look, you see that this came in the upright. So you see, you're reaching to the divine. It's not like you're, you're sitting here like this person crawling. Crawling. God has you reaching to the divine. Look, y'all better come on today. Open up. Open up. Get rooted. You are protected. You have a sense of awareness that you are protected and that God is is giving you that insight and is giving you all of the forces and all of the resources that you need to know that you're grounded like god is literally the number four this is about foundations it's about that hard work you have that ambition like i said where the fuck do you think this ambition is coming from trust trust open up and trust what god is doing and allow actually allow him to to I feel like you guys are trying to move before 
you're awaiting results and you want results and you want things to happen before this rebuilding process is done. Allow God to finish rebuilding and trust, okay? Trust. Trust. I ain't post my morning slide this morning, so I guess my followers is going through my old videos like, okay, where is this bitch this morning? I'm sorry. I just was spiritually got it to get up and do this before I did anything. All right. So let's find out what's going on. Father, give me some guidance right now for my single Scorpios. I did, um... Who reading that? I did Libras like this yesterday, so I'm gonna do y'all's like this. Y'all's already know me any damn way. God, please give me guidance for. Okay, that's too much for all of them. That is too much. What is we doing? This is too much. We're not about to do all of this. Mm -mm. Father, please give me guidance. Okay, for single Scorpios. Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Like I said, <laughs> for y'all single Scorpios, I feel like I said, um, you guys have been seeking guidance and things like that. And God is wanting you to know, like, he wants you to really take a little bit more care of your body. You see, like, how this person is being in touch with nature and everything like that. Like, you literally see this person reaching out. And God is like, okay, well, why are you reaching out? Eat some fucking vegetables. Go to Chops. Get you a salad, okay? <laughs> get you a salad eat some shit made by mother nature okay if we gonna do this we gonna really do this okay so i really do feel like a lot of y'all been thinking about changing your eating habits and lifestyle like you just want more pure 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 and and then god said take a shot don't take 12 take one okay maybe two and then move on okay so i feel like <laughs> <laughs> for my singles I feel like God is with you on this journey and I'm glad that y'all seek that y'all are seeking him out I am glad that y'all are seeking him out and I feel like you guys have just been stressed and y'all been worrying about this money and God is like look just chill I got you just take a shot okay don't take 12 though Take one, okay, or maybe two, and move the fuck on. But take a shot and relax. And listen, take care of your body. If you want a healthier environment, you got to start from the inside out. Do you understand, single Scorpios? It's okay to go through this loneliness. And I feel like for my um, Scorpios that have been in a relationship, maybe you're in a relationship right now and you feel lonely or you just broke up. You know, from a relationship and you're still feeling, you know, you're feeling lonely. What does it say? Keep that shit to yourself. Keep that shit to yourself. I love being criticized. Says no one ever. Keep that shit to yourself. I feel like whoever you've been dealing with in this relationship, you know what I'm saying? Right now you're going through this isolation and stuff like that. Whatever it is that you're feeling, I feel like it's falling on deaf ears. You know, and this person... Like, likes to try to put you down for some reason. I feel like they get off on seeing, like, you pull that. Send a pic. Sexing will make their fucking day. <laughs> hey, bruh. Y'all petty as shit. I feel like, um. <laughs> oh, y'all petty as shit. I feel like, on a certain level, I feel like to get what you want, because I see this pink, so I feel like maybe Scorpios are feeling like they want some sex or they want something. They want something. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like, now, I'm being guided to tell y'all about this temptation card that I seen yesterday, about that temptation card, and I'm being guided to tell y'all about this. Okay, I feel like a lot of y'all are falling into temptation because y'all are not content with this loneliness. You know what I'm saying? And I want to tell you, like, I feel like you've been pouring out your emotions and stuff like that to somebody. And when you do, I feel like they harshly criticize you or they make you feel like a fool for even expressing how you felt. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like, instead of 
telling someone how I feel, let me just go ahead and send them a picture and just show them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how that is. But at the same time, be careful. And if this is someone that you're broken up with and that you have an anxiety feeling in your belly, taking this picture and before you hitting that button to send it, don't send it. Keep that shit to yourself. Keep that shit to yourself because I feel like y'all might want to send a pic to someone to kind of entice them to come back to you or some shit like that. Because I feel like you not, you know, for some people, I feel like you want to send a pic because you want to entice someone to come back to you. And spirit is trying to tell you to keep keep that shit to yourself because no one wants to be criticized. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the reaction that you're going to get is not the one that you necessarily thinking that you're going to get. And... On the other side, for people that are in happy relationships, but I feel like y'all sex life just ain't popping off like that, like that. I feel like instead of just complaining to someone about how you want certain shit to happen or whatever, like you spice it up and send a fucking pic. You know what I'm saying? And just like, instead of running your mouth, you know what I'm saying? And somebody be like, man, you want to have sex all the goddamn time, but a motherfucker got to work. What you want me to do? Pay bills or give you dick? You know what I'm saying? So, like, instead of you dealing with that criticism and shit like that, just send a pic. Send, look, psh, get, send a pic. Little sexy body pic. I guarantee you that's going to get a rise and that's going to get the results that you want. Okay? So, that's what I'm getting. So, let's do a quick little clarification for the singles versus... My people in a relationship. I'm going to give you guys. Let me just shut up and just do whatever the hell I'm doing. Whatever. I know I'm dead. How many decks I got out here on this table? I got 10 decks. I know I ain't pulling out 10 decks of worth of shit out here today. I ain't doing. Okay. Ace of Swords. You need to tell people the truth. You need to be truthful and tell whoever this is that you're dealing with what you really feel. What you really feel. What is this? The four of pentacles. Because you really. I feel like you're feeling like letting go of a situation. I feel like this. Keep that shit to yourself. I feel like you want to send someone a picture. To get your point across. And then I'm also feeling like. A lot of you guys. A lot of you guys. Listen. A lot of you guys also got a picture of this person cheating or doing something wrong. And it's like, I feel like you've been wanting to, like you've been holding it in the cut. You know what I'm saying? Because like, and I feel like, I feel like you guys know something and you got proof that someone did something and you've been holding on to this evidence. So when the time is right, you can pull that shit out on them. But I feel like. Spirit is saying, like, you want to send them this picture and be like, oh, bitch, isn't that you? Oh, that's not you. Oh, this is not you with this nigga. Oh, so you wasn't out on a date with this nigga the other day by the water. Okay, y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't at, uh, Sequoia's. By the water. Y'all wasn't out Georgetown at Sequoia's. Okay, all right, all right. So that, so that wasn't you. God is telling you, instead of you stupid to that level, just keep that shit to yourself. I love being criticized said by nobody no one ever says that i feel like i feel like this person is going to lie this person is going to criticize you be like oh you following me oh so you a stalker ass motherfucker oh you be stalking bitches now you know what i'm saying i just feel like this person is going to try to find like the way this person responds is not going to be the way that you think and it's just better like just just keep this shit to yourself you know what I'm saying? Just do what you want to do. Be content with being lonely. Focus your ambitions on the money and just do your thing. You understand what I'm saying? Keep that shit to yourself. Don't even get into that shit. Because at the end of the day, your whole thing is like you in a quest for truth and honesty. You know? And cutting motherfuckers out that don't need to be there. So that's, 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 that's the whole thing that you want right now. And letting go of shit that ain't no more value, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't feel like you value this connection anymore. You don't value this connection no more. For my singles, eat your fucking vegetables and take a shot. Shit, you can uh, get you a salad and take a shot at the same time. Shit, come on, father, father. Okay, 
Yeah, y'all, y'all, I'm sorry. The way this is going right now, y'all really ain't about to be getting a whole bunch of extra, you know, because we ain't about to have no two-hour video. All right, listen, they go that death card. They go that Scorpio card. Ashes to ashes, death to death. De <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You are blowing out the candle. Do you see what I'm saying? Transition time. Six of Pentacles. It's Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. It is time for receiving. All right? It is time for giving and receiving. All right? And I feel like right now, you were waiting to get your share. That's why both of y'all are sitting there like, um, is y'all about to give me uh, a piece of cake or what? Like, what, like, I, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, y'all is bullshitting out here? No. Listen. Certain shit had to end in order for you to get your piece of the pie, bitch. All right, so don't worry about the fact that you're not getting all of these messages of just solid advancement yet. It's coming. It's coming. Queen of Wands. Okay, right now, uh, yeah, yeah, you might not necessarily be the nicest person to be around at all times. However, you're fiery, you're dynamic. I feel like you are most definitely stepping into your level of sex appeal, even though this bitch don't look like she is. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and I ain't playing. You that bitch right now. You understand what I'm saying? And you are chopping off motherfuckers. Off with her head. You are chopping bitches heads off. Anybody that even act. Blink stupid. Blink stupid. Think stupid. Okay? <laughs> there would be no more forward movement with these motherfuckers. Okay? So if anyone comes around and if they even blink stupid. If they even think stupid. You were quickly letting them know, um, yeah, I'm about to just go ahead and shut that down. You know what I'm saying? There will be no more forward progression or movement in whatever it is that you sitting over there talking about. So whatever the fuck you talk about, I don't want to talk to you about it. So don't be sending me no messages talking about fucking nothing. Like, ain't going to be no new star. Ain't going to be no heart. Ain't going to be no new spark over here, bitch. I'm sitting on my throne being my own in my kingdom. Okay? Pitch tosh, poof be gone before I chop your fucking head off. Um, Scorpio ain't hung up. Like I said, they they deaded a lot of shit. They deaded a lot of shit. So it's just like I, I don't feel like they're interested in offers that is taking long. You know, it's like it's like if you're taking long to give to me what I think I deserve to share something out to me, I don't even want it no more. Like I don't want it no more. I don't want it no more. Like. I'm the motherfucking queen, bitch. I am the queen. I make shit roll around here. So, if you ain't doing what the fuck I want you to do, I'm just going dead to shit. Because I'm not hung up on the same shit I used to be hung up on no more. I ain't interested in that shit. There's six of wands in reverse. You're not interested in anything where you're not going to be celebrated, where you're not going to be acknowledged, where you are not going to have... Like, I want to say a fan base almost. Like, if you not going to be my biggest fan, like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like Scorpio feels like, what's the point of, of putting my passion and my energy and fighting? You know, because this person, this Six of Wands, they just came back from battle. And they were victorious. And everyone is celebrating them. Everyone is acknowledging them. Everyone is giving them attention. And Scorpio is like, I ain't hung up on fucking around with people who don't acknowledge me and don't give me attention. And I'm chasing around after them no more. That don't make my pussy wet no more, bitch. You can go on and fuck on some way. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, I was trying to reach something that I couldn't reach. You know what I'm saying? And they realized, like, focusing on this shit in the patch, you would never reach. You know, you will always be... Too big, too small, too tall. You know? It's like you'll never be able to reach what you were trying, like what you were desiring to reach fucking around with anything in the past. And it's just like, I don't, I don't want that shit. Like, if, if I got put up this much of a goddamn struggle to get some acknowledgement from someone, to get someone to acknowledge me, and then you trying to give me the last of the drip droppings out of some spilled cups. Like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. The two of pentacles. I'd rather, I'd rather, like, Scorp, listen. I'm not allowing nobody to juggle me or put me in no balancing act. 
So, <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I don't know what to tell you, bitch. I don't know what to tell you. Let's give Scorpio some direct information in, in regards to love. And we about to get the fuck one out of here, honey. Because I, I, I want you. Look, look, I told you for y'all couple separation. Boom. I don't even know what else to tell you. Only one card popped out. That's all you need to know. Separation is a comment. You want to send that pic, but keep that shit to yourself. It ain't even worth it. Just move on. Move on. You already want to let that shit go because you feel like this person don't value you. You feel like this is a financial burden on you. You know what I'm saying? So fuck it. What is it? Let go of control issues. I feel like for the single Scorpios, y'all are finally letting go and letting God control things. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I feel like y'all struggle so much with just trying to spiritually just release yourself to the energies that you feel like been going on. Because I feel like it's been creeping y'all the fuck out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like the synchronicities and, you know, certain things like that. I really do feel like y'all have been... Ain't nothing trying to come out. That's all y'all want to What is it? Yeah. I feel like because you guys have been trying to control things and you guys have been trying to think you know what's best in your life and things like that, you know, it was slowing the process down. And that's why God is trying to tell you that they need you to be alone so that you can be able to better see what God is trying to do. And stop trying to control shit. Let me do what I need to do. The reason why you're not having chemistry with nobody is because you be too busy trying to control and steer the conversations and steer. You know what I'm saying? I feel like just sit back and stop trying to control things and just let things fall. Let the chips fall where they may. Let the chips fall where they may. Let's get one more clarification on those cards for love and then we up out of here. Do I want to do this or do I want to do that? Okay. Alright. I guess I am going to use all of the motherfucking things. Whatever. Whatever's clever. Top down. Top down. Oh no, I didn't use all of those things. Okay. Knight of Swords. You're going to be rushing forth to... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. So, for my couple Scorpios, like, y'all gonna be rushing forward. I feel like y'all gonna get into a big-ass motherfucker argument that's ever gonna leave someone to fuck in jail. Y'all gonna get into a big argument that's ever gonna leave someone in jail or y'all just going to end up telling someone that, look, this bullshit that I'm going through with you right now, I feel like I'm in prison and I wanna separate. Like, I don't wanna be with you no more. I don't want to be with you no more, but I want y'all to be careful because I feel like, because this whole thing is just like y'all are going, y'all want to send this person this picture, but God is telling you to just keep this shit to yourself, keep this shit to yourself. It's like you are cutting somebody out because you letting someone know the truth. You letting someone know the truth and you letting them know like, listen. I don't want to fuck with you no more. I'm not holding on to this relationship no more. I've been trying to hold on to this shit for a long time and trying to see value in this shit. You devalue me every time you disrespect me. I want to separate with you and listen to. I don't give a fuck if you like what I got to say. Like, I'm just coming through. I'm coming through the door waving the fofo. -fo. All you heard was Papa don't hit me no more. So I'm just hoping. I'm honestly hoping that when you rush through the doorways in the fo fo, that it don't turn into a big ass altercation and big fight. But I see that even if it do, like you gonna end up with listen, I whip ass and I take names later. And it's like I feel like Scorpio might go to jail and rightfully so, cause yeah, I might have to fuck somebody to fuck up. Like someone thought that they was playing with you and they must have thought that they was playing with themselves. Like I don't fear none of this shit. I will go to jail fucking around with you. Okay? Because I don't want to be with you no more. You jumping all up in my face, acting dumb. Nigga, yeah, you ain't know. I would take one of these knives and I would stab the shit out of you. So I hope that one of y'all ain't stabbed somebody. Like, no bullshit. Like, that's honest. It's a lot of swords. It's a lot of swords. And I know our fucking temper and our attitude. And especially, it's like, if you... You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Scorpio's going to be holding back because you got some ammo. Like, you got a picture or you got some evidence for why it is that you trying to walk away and why it is that you doing. It's just like, I just want to let go. I don't even want to do this shit because I feel like I'm in a prison fucking around in this relationship with you. 
the fuck you mean? Please get the fuck out my way. It's like, stop trying to ground me and root me to the situation. Please get the fuck out my way. I have picture evidence to what the fuck I'm saying to you. Okay? Like, I got the truth. So what are you saying? Fuck out my goddamn way. And I, I feel like it's a struggle. Like, someone's not going to try to let someone go. And as I can say, it's ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Y'all blowing the motherfucking candle out. I feel like this is what happened and then y'all end up over here with the loneliness and everything like that. But God is putting you right where you, where you need to be. And you're going to go through a little stage where you're not finding no chemistry with nobody. That's because you don't need to be with nobody. It's meant for you to be by yourself. You're going through metamorphosis. Okay? God is preparing you. Okay, the ten of coins. Like I told you. You guys might be moving from your home, okay? Your home environment that you had with your family is no longer there. You understand? And like I said, the world card. So, Scorpio, a lot of y'all might be moving, okay? Y'all might be moving, all right? Not only are you moving, but y'all just been like patiently awaiting for you guys to be able to climb up that ladder and just like harvest the fruits of your investments i feel like you've planted a lot you've planted a lot of seeds you know what i'm saying to grow for you and your family as you can see this young lady has a baby right here so you planted a lot of seeds and you've been patiently awaiting your harvest like a full harvest for you to just be able to bite one of those apples one of them plums pears whatever the fuck that is you know and i feel like at the end of the day the only reason why you were able to even build and grow this abundant harvest, because as you can see, you have a very fruitful and abundant tree that is looming right over top of your head that is able to give you all of the fruits and all of the resources that you need. Only thing you got to do is patiently wait. You understand? But you wouldn't have been able to grow that and put that energy and put that work in and put that time and intention for that thing to grow like that, for that tree to grow like that, if if you didn't move away from this foundation, from this home foundation that you had, because it wasn't no good, it was toxic. Do you see what I'm saying? You had to move. You had to move. That chapter had to close. It had to. All right. So, what am I feeling? I guess. Let's just go ahead. Alright, Scorpio. I hope everybody else ain't mad. Because I sure don't like do uh, everybody else readings with the singles and the uh, um, couple like this. Because I had my, my other decks up there. I think I might do this like this when I'm going for it. Y'all like it like this, y'all? Especially y'all cross watches. Please don't be mad if y'all see this. Y'all like, why the fuck you ain't do that like that in my sign? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I just be spiritually guided to do return. There will be no return. Like I told y'all, y'all is leaving the fuck out of somebody, Scorpio. Y'all is kicking in the door, waving the faux fo, fo Like, get out my way, bitch. Pass me my bags. Like shit. Thank you, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That's how we talking, PC. <laughs> We in every sentence with the fuck. <laughs> listen, the singles, there's third party. And listen, whoever you talk to, to what's this? Uh, okay. Listen, honey, don't be, don't be trying to like numb your situation right here. You better say a numb your whole brain get cure. You better go do some chanting and a numb your whole brain get. You better numb your whole brain get cure instead of trying to numb your whole. With a motherfucking third party. Don't be trying to numb your hoe. Okay? Right? Don't be acting like no hoe. Don't be trying to numb your hoe. Okay? With somebody that you already know is in a relationship. Y'all don't do that shit. Don't do it. I thought you knew it. You better not do it. Scorpio, don't make me punch you in your goddamn net. We done went through too much right here. Don't, don't be trying to listen. If you know off bucks, that's why I'm trying to tell you God do not. And I feel like until you get it that God wants you to be alone, that's all you're going to get. 
Because you being fucking hard-headed. What I told you, you're not listening. Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone, Scorpio, because I'm not, I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not. You're not fucking listening. You're not listening. Talk too much, too emotional, not listening. Hard-headed as shit. Hard-headed make a soft ass. If you, 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 you so precious, you don't want to be alone and go through this process and let God bring these blessings to you. You want to keep trying to numb yourself. With motherfuckers that you know is not going to be dedicated to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't listen. Tuh. Don't listen. Hard head make a soft ass. Let me get y'all this. Um, see what type of rare ass. Because Scorpio we is some rare ass unicorns. And y'all some rare ass goddamn fucking unicorns. Past lives. It says release your past life karma. Come on now. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past life will raise your vibration. Come on, uh, coupled up Scorpios. Okay, get rid of that past life situation. Y'all already done said. I'm moving. Slam the fuck past this bitch. I ain't got time for that. Okay, what that lady said. I got asthma. I ain't got time for that. That, that shit fucking up my bronchitis. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio saying that shit is fucking up my bronchitis, bitch. I can't breathe. I can't breathe without you. Face ass niggas. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Fuck you talking about. I'm a fucking Scorpio. I ain't, I ain't like that. What you mean? I can't breathe with a bitch. You sound like a hoe ass nigga. You sound like a stupid ass motherfucker talking about I can't breathe without you. Fuck that shit. I ain't never loved nobody that much. Y'all on some hoe ass shit. Okay. And did prosperity come out? For my singles, I just told y'all, if y'all don't focus the... I'm going to fuck you up. If y'all don't fuck, I'd stop being hard-headed. God damn it. The gift of money is on the way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. I'm going to fuck y'all up. Scorpio, if y'all don't stop being hard-headed and, and be content with being alone, because I'm trying to tell you... Girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever you is right now. I am trying to say, listen. Listen to me. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you ever had like a, a brother or sister that was just so fucking hard-headed? You just wanted to grab him by the neck and just like a few fucking listen. Okay, I'm sorry. Whoo, honey. Hold on, my anxiety. Hold on, let me. Let me place it up by Paul. Ooh, Scorpio gonna make me choke down. Father. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna put this right here because we need it. We need that. And this parties don't it look like you see, ooh, ooh. Thought you knew. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all better get y'all some crystals. Ooh. Ooh. It'll help you with anxiety and stress. And it help your breast grow. I'm lying. Ooh, do it make your breast grow? Hold on. Hold on, let me. Okay, I'm sorry. Why am I still talking to y'all? I love y'all. Look, if this video resonated with y'all, y'all click that like button. If this video made y'all laugh, click that like button. If you wanted to strangle it, okay, click that like button. If you want personal reading, if you want a personal reading, y'all just go ahead and, you know, Scorpion Reds Tarot and simply book me. Or, you know, you can easily just click that hyperlink that's right there on the about tab. Uh, duh. Come on, y'all. It's okay, because I was riding the, the short bus, too. I was riding the short bus. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, I love y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stop being hard-headed. <laughs> and I don't want y'all to go to jail. Please do not. Listen, Scorpio, please do not go to jail. Please do not go to jail. Like, a lot of people, look, they don't. it's almost April. They don't already banned out their tax money. Look. They back to black. They back to being broke. They ain't got no bail money just laying around like that. Okay, motherfuckers spent all their money up in the up in the good, you know, outlet malls. Okay, outlet malls trying to bowl. I love y'all. Why am I still rambling? Peace.